just greet our Facebook Live people right now. Hey, we're down here at the Brother Lake Church. You need to get here. It's two minutes. We're going to celebrate our children. We're going to worship. We're going to magnify God. And we want your face in the place. Hurry and come see us. God bless you. Hey, you need to get here. Hey, it's two minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Hard at work back here.
this is part of your participation on tonight. There's a little switch at the bottom. When the lights go dim, we're going to ask that everybody puts their tea lights on. Okay? If you don't have one, you can raise your hand, and someone from the back will definitely assist. But did you bring your praise into the house tonight? Did you bring your expectation into the house tonight? Did you bring your excitement into the house tonight?
they had heard and seen as it was told of them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opened up the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons.
video of Vietnam. We have three plus of the children in Africa for our children to get together to be a blessing to our children in Africa during this season. We just want to give to them. So if you can just turn your attention up to the screen. This is my last
choosing to live your life. Thank you all, because y'all have blessed me. Thank you, parents. Because you guys have blessed me. I love being in the presence of God. I love being in the presence of his people. I love being in the presence of his youth. Um, uh, when I was asked to prepare something for you guys tonight, that's why I spoke a word. I prepared something, and then today I was in prayer. I like to have an afternoon prayer. Anybody like to have prayer in the middle of the day? Like, felt like that prayer, like where you set everything else aside and you find yourself on the floor. Am I the only person that does that? You find yourself. the Lord, and it's called, Daddy bought me a gift. Can I stand over here so I can look at everybody here? Is that alright? Daddy bought me a gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes with bowls beautiful enough for me to stop and stare at in awe. You see, Daddy gifted me. And see, I know I didn't deserve it. I know I didn't deserve it because, see, I haven't been good all year. But that's the thing about my dad. See, he's rewarded even in the times I don't deserve it. But can I tell y'all what he bought me? He literally bought me something. See, he bought me a promise. A promise more expensive than all the Jordans and clothes and toy cars and, you know, this promise, this promise he gave me, it literally broke prison bars off of me instantly as it was handed to me. That's the gift that daddy bought me. You see, this promise he gave me, it's eternal. More beautiful than diamonds and gems and I don't know, what else is beautiful? Beyonce, they say she's beautiful, right? Beyonce, I know, I know. They say she's the most beautiful girl in the world. But see, this promise he gave me, this promise is even more beautiful than Beyonce, you see, because the beauty of it is literally beyond what I can say.
around this Christmas time, what Jesus is ultimately saying is this, young people, above all the presents that are present, his present is the ultimate present. And he will always be your greatest gift. I love you guys. Stay close to God. So it's multiplied over there, amen? amen? And they were able to put, um, Brother John brought three laptops. They got electricity, so they had Wi-Fi, so they could get the children some electricity. They put, and of course, they had lights in the room. They had um, water put in. And from that offering, they were able to begin a feeding program. And two days a week, feed the children beans and rice. Glory to God. They started a music program and they began working on the building. They now have a cement floor, four walls, a purple door. <laughs> that I'm quite proud of. And Principal Jackson is so, so grateful. And he knows that we're here tonight and he knows that your hearts are open to be a blessing to them. I want to thank you in advance. I want to thank these children in advance because, boy, are you guys. You guys are amazing. What a blessing you are. And Sister Winetta, you had the idea for the children? Yeah. For the offering? Yeah. One little lady, when I was talking about it, we had a first rehearsal. Um, what was her name? One little girl had a little purse, and she came up to me right over here in the corner, and she said, I want to give an offering for Africa. And she gave me one dollar. There. She's so beautiful. And I took the dollar and I said, oh my God, you're so precious. Thank you. And I put the dollar on my dresser and I gave it to one of the ushers because I couldn't find you. And I had it on my dresser and I said, Lord, you gave $14.65. That was your offering. And I prayed for you every day. I said, Lord, bless this child that she be an example to all of us. Amen? Because I can't even get a candy box for a dollar anymore. I can't even get a pack of gum for a dollar anymore. 
But we're going to be a blessing to those that have so much more need than we do. Of course, the need is always great, and sometimes we they run out. They want to continue that food program. So let's be a blessing to them tonight. You had an idea with a child, so let's share it. Um, I want to challenge you all to make sure that all of our children have a dollar to give up today. So if many of you would join me and just come put a dollar, this is, has nothing to do with your offering, a dollar, and they had to make sure all of them be able to give a gift to Africa. You can join me. I drink here. We'll get some music. I'm going to start. Y'all, y'all, y'all boys, y'all should have a dollar in y'all pocket, right? <laughs> Oh, somebody got, she got five dollars. You got five dollars? Look at that. No, stand up, stand up. Benjamin is going to be the one. Look at this, look at this. Make sure. Stand up. This is fine. Thank you. 
W-H-M-A-C-K and Mark and, and say that it's for Bridging the Gap. Dollar sign W-H-M-A-C-K and state that it's for Bridging the Gap. Dollar sign. So this man, this missionary, his name is John Connolly. John, we're going to pray for him. Yeah. We're going to thank him for the fact that he was called to go out there, but we can send money to help him, and we get the credit for what he does there, just as he gets the credit for doing it because we're working as a team. Amen? So Father, we thank you for Brother John. We thank you for the work in Africa. We thank you Father God, if somebody's naked we could clothe them. If somebody's hungry, we could feed them. If they're destitute of food, Lord, we can feed them. The least we do unto our brethren, we do unto you. And tonight, Lord Jesus, as the children minister to us, and, and we gave to them, and they gave back to Africa, we too have that opportunity, and we with our love for those in Africa, the needs that have been met and are being met through the offering tonight. We glorify you, we bless you, and thank you, Father God, what you're going to do with what we gave today. We just trust you, Lord, for every need being met. For John and for all the children, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mark, come on, let's give the Lord one Mark. more hand clap. All right. As we come with our finale and as we get ready to do our last selection, I'm never going to have a child to ask me to they sing and I don't give them the opportunity. So I don't care what song you're going to sing. He wants to sing. We want to give him that minute to do that. Amen. And I need you to clap your hands. And give him. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Some of us are anointed to sing, some of us are anointed to give, some of us are anointed to pray, some of us are anointed to dance, some of us are anointed to fast. But in our midst, we have a young lady that's anointed to draw. So she don't talk much. She sat there as she drew. And then she showed us the picture after the entire service. Well, guess what? She did it tonight.
thank you. Thank you for everything you did tonight. God, I thank you for every young person, oh God, that you have touched. God, I thank you for every seed that was sown tonight. God, great seeds and small ones, Father. Father, I thank you, God, for this house. I thank you, Lord God, for everyone who had a part in this presentation tonight. So now, God, God, everything, everything that we have received, God, every word that was planted, every song that was saying, Father, we ask, oh God, that you would seal it. Seal it, Lord. Let your presence, God, just go with us, God. Go with us from this place, God. God, everything that these young people have experienced, God, some of them have experienced, have never experienced this kind of experience before in their life. So, God, this is an experience they will never forget. So, God, whatever was planted tonight, Lord God, let it continue to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And grow. God, bless Minister McAvee. God, I thank you for her obedience. Oh, God, I ask that you bless, oh, God, the leaders of this house. I thank you for their obedience. Father, we trust you, Lord God. Oh, God, let everything be said and done. Oh, God, according to your will and according to your plan, we thank you for it. Take us from this place safely, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray.
Care to post comment? On what? <laughs> this is bridging the gap page here. Oh, come I mean, on, I'm Jack. not ready yet. I haven't, I haven't come up with a speech yet. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Sean Patrick Green, Bread of Life Church, bridging the gap for ten. Mikey, we are the behind the scenes. We're doing camera work right here. Then you got Mr. Rich making the sound happen. We got people behind the scenes that make this happen so we gotta bless everybody bless the pastors bless all the ministers and everybody that's done these things and bless the people that attend yes. we took some video so we're gonna try to put some of that on camera maybe YouTube we'll see we'll see how it works out Thank you. Awesome.